Hello everybody, it's me, Mathis playing. You guys might not expect me to talk in my newest video, but here we are. That's it for today's video, I'm planning on doing a free-to-play clearing of Bunker Alpha. And we're gonna go broke. See you in our free-to-play account. Hello everybody, and welcome to our free-to-play account. And, um, yeah, so I've played the free-to-play account for a bit now, and I was just doing the normal grinding, like the casual grinding that you usually do. Free-to-play, scattering resources, getting things done, leveling up, and now that we've gotten a bit of a foothold on what we're going to do, we're going to start doing Bunker Alpha now. Hopefully that we'll be able to do it and not run out of weapons. Specifically I want to do is floor 2. It's the easiest that we can do right now and I don't think that we do have enough resources to be even able to our weapons to do the floor 3. So uh, yeah. You might be wondering what's the best weapon for doing Walker Alpha when you're. What's the best weapon that you could use for doing Bunker Alpha when you're low level? Well, in that case, it would be the spear. That is true. Level 15, you can do floor 2 with spears only. It may take a while, but it is doable. But the best weapon that you can craft, and it's pretty cheap as well, is the crowbar. Only costs seven iron bars and three leather. So, considering that it does 17 damage, it is pretty cheap for what it's worth. And it's pretty good as well. So, let's craft a few of them here. And buy a few, I mean, a full inventory. Now, leather is an easy thing to grind, it isn't a hard thing to get. It's pretty simple. Now iron takes a little bit more effort as you do have to go to at least a yellow zone to farm it efficiently. And yeah, and we'll take the skull crusher with us and the shovel. I mean, shovel? Yeah, you get the shovel during one of the act quests here in chapter 2, I think it is. And pretty easy to get, you don't really have to worry about it. And I've gotten this full tactical set from the story, from the story quest as well. So if you do get the chance, completing chapter one and chapter two is great. Gives a lot of decent rewards that you can get and it's pretty great as well. It's not hard and it's doable with the cleaver or any weapons that you get as long as you play it well and are able to do it properly and yeah <laughs> so now let's head over to bunker alpha now sometimes i do end up thinking that i don't even feel like wasting this much resources is great but if you do take in the time and effort to do it then yeah probably it is and I've already opened it yesterday. I didn't do it yesterday. I just opened it because I felt like doing so. So maybe, maybe tomorrow or the other day, next day, I can do Bunker Alpha again, and maybe then I can show you how to do the third, uh, how you can clear the third floor with just crowbars or maybe even spears. Now I don't know why I play this game a lot, but even I won't go as low to use spears solely because of the fact that spears do 10 damage and it takes so long to just kill a frenzy giant and it's funny because it really does take that long to kill one and so we're here this is the items that I have brought here a few spear a few crowbars not a few this is a lot of crowbars um I'll actually use the two broken ones here. Equip this one, this one there, and uh, actually, 
Like that. So, uh, also take this broken, uh, this dislocated finger. And... Is this enough? Do we need, like, an extra? I'll take an extra. Set of food and we drop, like, you know, crowbar here. We don't really need that much crowbars. To be completely honest. There should be enough to clear floor two. If not, we'll go back up and let's grab more crowbars and we could probably clear it then. So, um... If there is some lag that does end up showing in the recording here, or like the video, it's probably because I am playing on a phone, and recording on a phone does lag a lot, solely because of the fact that phones aren't really meant to like screen record. It ends up making the footage kind of lower quality and it makes it kind of grainy but that's okay here we go we have leveled up and one thing that i could say is that i got lucky when i was grinding because when i hit level 18 i think i got the extra pocket which is this one right here this extra pocket because usually this is locked on lower levels and you don't usually get it until like I mean, mainly I didn't get it until I was like level 80 or what you call this level 90. But uh, here I got it quite pretty early at level 18. And uh, yeah, I, I say that that's pretty lucky. And you could just see I opened this door with the, this, uh, the dismembered finger, which you can get from military convoys. And in this specific chest right here, or this loot shelf, whatever you can call it, you can get a Glock. Yeah, almost 60% glock, some bandages, I'll take that later. But I just opened this so I won't forget. And you could, and I recommend that you also do it in this trash can. Because in this trash can, you can get a yellow or green ticket every time you open it. Now for this, this these enemies aren't really that hard. You need to uh, sneak attack that one. Even if you don't have like the skull crusher as I've got in here from the airdrop. You can just technically kill them with the crowbar because the crowbar does have range and you can easily kill the first fast body that you do sneak attack and move and run away for a bit. You are low HP from the second one, but yeah, that's it. Now let's go to floor two, baby. Let's go to floor two. Now floor two isn't really hard. Floor 2 is probably the easiest, of course it is, it's floor 2, it's the easiest floor in the bunker, but it doesn't hold the most, um, doesn't hold the most frenzy giants, but it, re it shows you the, oh, uh, what, what the, what the, the overall difficulty and the, the rising difficulty of the bunker. As you start here, that, that was just a lot of normal roaming zombies, and now there's a floater blurry. It, it shows the type of it will be fun here. So, the, specifically the bunker, bunker alpha, has gotten multiple changes in the past, like a lot of changes, as I've seen. It was very different from what it is now. I completely missed the sneak attack. Compared to back then, the Bunker Alpha really was different from what it used to be right now. Because right now it's... I'd say easier than it was before. Because back then, you had to do so much to get to the end. And it's like, they made it way more like... All this uh, beginner friendly. Which is great. I don't hate it. It's okay. And now, as, as you can see, this is how we wall trick this friendly giant. So, the crowbar, for what it is, does have range. It does have range, and it's probably one of the best cheap weapons that you can buy. I uh, can craft up on it. And, uh, it's pretty cheap as well. 7 iron and 3 leather. That's just pretty easy to grind. And, go to green zones, grabbing it. And wall tricking isn't really that hard. Wall tricking is just you need to just 
keep in mind the movement of your enemy and completely time your movement. Like, for example, if you see two enemies, you just have to wait for them both to punch to each other, then move back into the wall, then move out. Hit them. So, as a beginner, as like, this is your first time clearing Bomber Alpha, this might take a while to completely master where, where you. Where you have to, uh, where you have to do proper wall tricks, and that's fine. It isn't something to be ashamed about. Wall trick taking. Okay, wall trick takes time, and I admit, when I was doing Bonger Alpha back then, I didn't know how to wall trick. That is true. I used to use guns when I was doing my Bonger Alpha runs, and. Honestly, that was a rookie mistake. Then again, you don't really know how to clear a place until you search it up on YouTube, which I tried my best to to uh, to not do in order to keep the video as I to keep my gameplay as um, as vanilla as possible. And like, I tried to find out what to do, but as time passed by, I was getting like concerned about like if, is using guns really the most ethical way to clear for alpha and I, and I ended up searching it up on youtube and i was i was and i thought about it i was apparently wasn't <laughs> apparently you could do wall tricks and even i back then was surprised that you could do wall tricks at first i thought it was like a bug exploit and i was saying like mm. This probably has been patched. I was playing I played back then, not like 20. I was like probably my first ever gameplay of this game, where I really like putting the time and effort into it. And that was when I was clearing Bunker Alpha. I had like a small base and everything, and I didn't really think about what to do at that point in time. I was just like playing it normally as like I would want to play a game. It's just like just me being me being very like vanilla about things and like not knowing as much as I do in on this part there. So some of the walls here have some weird uh weird properties. Like this wall here. See I'm trying the wall but they can still hit me. As opening sliding doors like this or like this specific doorway is somewhat bug or it has like even if you are behind the wall it does end up not really it's not solid it's like it's it's transparent and it's kind of sometimes it messes you up sometimes like in my older videos like the hard mode bunker alpha where i it's like i was here like i was wall tricking the frenzy giant on floor three and it was um I was wall tricking I was wall tricking the frenzy giant on wall three and I ended up uh getting hit by it. Which is okay. And okay, let's pull him a bit closer. And it's it's a it's a common rookie mistake that you end up getting hit by Frenzy Giant. Like for my years of playing it specifically three years of playing this game and clearing Bunker Alpha so many times. I'd say that even if you're like a good player, you at least get hit once by a Frenzy Giant. And that's specifically from my experience. I've had runs where uh, I cleared Bunker Alpha and haven't got hit by a Frenzy Giant once. And I'd say that that's probably me if I really like went serious mode and just really like focused on clearing bunker alpha and not doing anything but that's just probably me and i wouldn't say that it's like specifically a me thing but that's how we usually clear oh my goodness this chest plate is gonna break soon so i'll wait for like most of my armor to break before i'll Ooh. Well, i usually don't get usually, usually don't get tickets there but well i yellow and a red one so yeah so if you get discouraged, if you die multiple and multiple amounts of times in Bunker Alpha, that's fine. 
it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's part of the experience and learning this new game mechanic of wall tricking and getting used to it. Like this one. See, I'm behind the wall and he's still hitting me. So I need to move back a bit to the side here and hug the wall so that he does not end up hitting me. There are some angles in this game where you have to be like very specific on how to how to wall trick. This one right here. I'll just do that. So there is like a uh, it's not a hidden feature, it's like just something you can do with a crowbar and it's double hit if you time it. The floater bloater uh the floater bloater <laughs> The floater bloater's punch or a frenzy giant sponge, which I don't recommend you do it with a frenzy giant sponge. Because he will hit you if you end up messing it up. Now I'm gonna use this full tactical set. You might be wondering where I got this tactical set. I got this from the story quest that I have not said earlier. And story quest just gives a lot of good the acts. The act quests, which you can see on this top right here. You can do this. As you can see, it gives you you can buy the premium pass for the act, which I shall tell you is probably not worth it. This is kind of a scary area, so I'm gonna use a machete here. As I was saying about the story, okay. As I was saying about the story quest, I recommend that you buy the premium if you feel like it's great. Like if it's great, yeah, I can buy it. I have nothing against you, but like for me, even in the main account, I did not buy the premium pass solely because of the fact that I feel like it's not a good deal and I feel like it was it's not worth it for how much it costs another skill let's take the helic overtime in base and overall I don't think that I don't think it's bad like it's I think it's probably bad because I'm like in my main account, I'm a higher level, and the story with like, the act premium pass doesn't give as good loot as I, I doesn't give the loot that I probably would want. But if you're a beginner and you're planning on buying something, I'd probably it's probably a good deal, though I still wouldn't recommend it. Season pass is probably a better deal because you get more things. And it's only about three dollars worth of cash, and I wouldn't say that the season pass is good as well. Season pass is kind of bad as well, but it does have some goodies. So yeah. Or if you were planning on actually buying like something in this game, I think that you should buy if you end up playing for like a long time is the season pass. Because the season pass is pretty good for what it's worth. You do finish. I think you do get like the things you need to build. Yeah, like those got one piece of iron. So yeah, again with the season pass, you, I think the things that you need to build your chopper with, like the engine parts here, the what else? Let's see, tactical backpack. Yeah, the engine part, the two chopper wheels, the chopper fork. And the only thing that's missing here probably is the gas tank, which isn't really that bad. Because the gas tank, you can get it between like the, the yellow and the red crate, which still isn't like a good chance to get. <laughs> and it's pretty low. And here we go. Here's the, the NPC that we will save to unlock hard mode bunker alpha. It's the yeah. specialist, the guy that you can... Okay, so... Now these two toxic abominations are kind of tricky to wall track, but... You can do this, which is harder in my opinion, because it's like a corner. You have to keep moving back between the corner, other than it just yeah. being a wall. Because, yeah, see? These toxic abominations move faster and have like... Yeah. Way different AI than the floater bloaters do. You can you could have uh, um I think so I was moving back and forth there. I want to 
move them closer to one another and making them synchronize with their hip with their punches you can do waiting for him to punch and moving a bit you can see him move like a little bit there you go and that usually resets their attack so that when they're up, like after they punch you can just move and they just do it uh, shower makes sense <laughs> that's also kind of concerning especially if you're in the middle of a fight and you need to pee so i recommend that you just leave the floor and pee and yeah that's just it so this this end part here isn't really that hard you just need to be careful thanks lucky you're here i think we're gonna work together yeah sure <laughs> That is, that's me in the overseer's room. Okay, you, you get out of here. So, um, there's more things that you can do here. Like, we saved that specialist guy, and now we can activate hard mode bunker alpha. And I, and I, I think, like, you shouldn't, technically, in the story, you have to finish, like, act one, I think. I, I know, you need to finish, like, a few chapters of act one, and then you can unlock the bunker alpha but i feel like that's just for story purposes like if you really don't know the game can follow the story quest but for me i've played this game for the game. i don't mean to do that um you can follow the story quest it's gonna take a lot of durability from the armor and that's scary you see there it's already like 40 percent of it's gone the Frankie guy, he's just another crowbar here. I'm gonna show you the double hit. You do it like that, but you have to be like very careful on how you do it because I'd, I'd say like the first initial two hits you reset and you just do normal one hits. Because if you try and do it, you see, like that, you get hit. And the Frankie giant is okay, I got hit again. That's just not bad. Okay, I'll stop. Doing now so a frenzy giant is the first enemy not really the toughest he's just at the strongest high damage dealing enemies that you're gonna fight he's very doable to fight against anyways you can just do wall tricks and mostly he just appears in the uh in the bunker alpha he doesn't appear anywhere else Unless it's the colonel, which I wouldn't say it's a frenzy giant. The, it's just a frenzy giant that that does like lower damage and spawns enemies. And even the enemies that he spawns is pretty easy to fight against. And the other time that you'll find frenzy giants is probably in the dead island, which is all the way up north, which is basically an end game. Oh god. Which is basically. Oh wow. Got hit twice. Be careful. And the Dead Island is like a pretty late end game area, so... Okay, I'm really messing it up here. And that's what I'm saying, like... Okay. If I get hit once, I'm dead. That's what I'm saying, like... This is pretty tricky here. It's your character. When you press the attack button, your character does sometimes move closer and you get you end up getting hit by the enemies it's kind of annoying after this i might go for this grab like a stack of food and go back down here because there is still one friendly giant that we have to kill or maybe not i'm okay with trying to kill him with this type of equipment this hp plus we'll up after we kill him probably hopefully just leveling up those. There we go. Leveling up to your HP. Got the fisherman seal. I might just take that. So now we can sneak up onto enemies technically. And now we'll just force him to move closer here. And now let's just finish the water trick and stuff. Sorry for the background <laughs> background noise here because again it's, it's pretty loud outside sometimes. So uh after we kill this frenzy giant, we're technically done with the floor. 
You might be saying that yeah, there's one more friendly giant over there. We're not done, but oh, but uh, we're tech we technically are unless you do have like level three burglars burglar skill, then maybe you could kill them. But let's see, are there level three skill burglar level three required? This one is what you need the level one burglar perk. So very first. Very first, you call this Bunker Alpha run. It was pretty okay. I'd say I kind of messed up getting hit a lot of times by those frenzy giants at the end there, but I'd say we did pretty well. And I wouldn't say that that was a bad run. We did get a decent amount of tickets, but not enough to open the first green crate, as we do need 20. And we have three extra above, so we have 14 right now. And and we kind of need more so uh, yeah i feel like that's it we can't do third floor but we don't have the enough healing items even back at home i could go home and grab some more healing items but i feel like that's all that we could do right now there as you can see we have 14 of these we have nine so we need 25 of these yellow tickets to do it and we just don't have enough and i feel like that's where we're gonna end this video off <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this floor 2 clearing of bunker alpha and i really appreciate the support and love we've been getting on the recent videos and shout out to those who have been watching my videos and commenting thank you so much for your support and i really really do appreciate it and until next time see you guys in the next video goodbye